The three most common forex analyses are technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and sentiment and sentiment analysis. In this video, I'll focus on fundamental analysis and help you guys to know how to trade news. So guys, if you're interested, continue watching. The fundamental analysis in Forex helps to evaluate the current price of a currency and the future direction of it and to understand all the reason behind the change, the change in its value. A Forex trader is then able to craft informed trading decision so guys how do you analyze forex fundamentals and how do you analyze forex fundamentals when conducting fundamental analysis in the forex market keep an economic calendar on the hand that lists different events when they are due to be released also keep an eye on the future often markets will move in anticipation of a certain report due to be released at a later day so guys in this video i want to give you four best websites that will help you to do your fundamental analysis and the first website that i use and i love it's called forexfactory.com so this is one of the websites that i use so many times because i want to know if my 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 technical analysis is uh, it will be affected by the fundamental, uh, the news being released. So I am always on forexfactory.com checking what is happening. And the three, the, the, the remaining three, the, the second one is dailyfx.com. You can check it out. The third one is fxstreet.com. And the fourth one is tradecaptain.com. So guys, if you want to have, uh, if you want to be trading news, you need to know what is happening. And if you have been trading and losing big time, because news move the market 100 pips, 200 pips, 300 pips, and always you are you are the wrong side of the market. Maybe your fundamental analysis is in question. You don't care. You ignore what is happening. You don't even know there is news. You just come and the move has has been made in your chart, and you are wondering. Why did this market just move 100, 200 pips against me? Now you know it's fundamental news. Guys, let's go to this website, forexfactory.com, and I'll show you what it's all about. So you'll go to your browser and type forexfactory.com, forexfactory.com. Just type that. And then now when you open your, uh, your website, the first thing that you need to do is to adjust the time. So for me, at the making of this video is 9.40. Make sure here you have the right time. The, the, the time that the website is saying it's going, uh, uh, it's, going uh, it's the same as your time. That's what I, I'm trying to say. So if it is not, if it is different time, just click calendar and everything will change. The time will change. It will just pick your time. So when we when we do fundamental analysis, I'll just advise you to be doing this on week weekend. That is uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday so that you can have an overall what the market will do or what the events are in the upcoming week. So I like doing this on Saturday or on Sunday. So this week, this is what we had. So if you come on a week, weekend and uh, you check in your, your, your calendar, this now I call it my calendar. On Monday, there are so many things that are written here, but as a trader, you're only, you're only uh, concentrating if it is marked red. Red, you see these boxes that have yellow or gray color. We just need those ones that are in red because it, it shows us that there are major news to be released that can affect our currencies. And if the red one is marked and a pair you don't trade, let's say it has been marked red and then uh, beside it, it's uh, JPY. And for instance, you don't trade JPY, it can't affect you because you don't trade JPY. But keep in mind, there will be major news. So if you see some slight change in your trading, just to know maybe it's the JPY that affected in one way or the other. So on Monday, I didn't see anything, so I jumped Monday. And here, mind you, I have a book and a pen. I want to write it down because sometimes we do forget. So on Tuesday, I came, uh, on Tuesday, I checked the calendar. At 6.30, I had major news on AUD, so I wrote that down. If I'm told I'll be trading my, I will be trading AUD on Monday, I was keeping in mind, it's either I close the trade before the news, or if I'm trading the news, I use stop loss or I use uh, risk management because 
news are crazy so i put that aud there will be major news then coming to uh 4 30 p.m i knew there was news on canadian you can see the one that i highlighted red that's what i want to pay attention there was canadian news at 4 30 and at 6 p.m we had usd news so if i would be trading usd pairs on tuesday i had to put in mind that at 6 p.m i will be at my laptop analyzing the markets observing the markets because when news happen they really move the market very very fast and th the market is always volatile on wednesday uh, we had news on nsd because i love trading nsd at this time i was awake just to see how the market was moving and uh it uh I, I i thank god because of knowing that the the news would favor my technical analysis so before even wednesday happened i already knew on wednesday nsd will have that something might happen so uh and for that, uh, the same day, Wednesday, there was news on AUD and uh, for 15, the news on USD. So come to Thursday. Thursday was interesting. This was yesterday. This was an interesting day because at 3 p.m. we had very major news on GBP. And you can see it is marked. All these things were happening at the same time. And they moved the market with around 70 to 90 pips on all GBP pairs. They moved in one direction like gbp had some like it gained strength all of a sudden in in less than five minutes it moved 90 i'll show you in the charts 90 to 100 pips and then something that made uh something that caught my eye was this new euro euro at 3.45 i had closed my my positions because uh i didn't and i, I after the technical analysis the market was ranging so it could have gone either direction so i I opted to stay away from the market and guess what guys i'll be showing you shortly euro this news they made euro to go 250 pips guys from where the market was after the news announcement and still euro has that power so i don't know what uh the news uh what made euro to gain strength but if you just type main refinancing rate monetary policy statements those things they'll give you a whole data on what really made euro to have the strength so guys uh at 6 p.m we had news but usd I didn't see any major change because euro continued to gain strength so today is on friday as making of this news and we have three major news we have major news for 30 uh two major news is uh we have news at 4 30 that is canadian news and we have news at at the same time for that you have news on usd so all i'm thinking is that all the movement that we had seen on euro usd maybe will have a reversal so if that happens this is a very great chance to uh to to short euro usd because if you have a reversal and the news of usd comes positive the market will surely come down so guys let me show you in the chat and then we can end this video yesterday we had news on gbp uh pairs all pound pairs really moved and it was around 3 uh 3 p.m and i want to show you what really happened i have already deleted all my analysis on this pair because i want to start afresh this is the time that the news happened i use four hour so if i go to one hour time frame and we just check uh, at 3 p.m what happened you can see this is the candle this is the candle that really moved uh the news the market was trending down and the news moved uh this market uh, uh how many pips almost 89 pips so the market moved 89 pips very quickly and then it started dropping down so on pound because we know pound how they can be volatile when news are there they move even 300 pips that was not a big movement on the pound but if you had bought if you had done your bought with this you know how we do our analysis and you had seen that bullish engulfing candle and you're already on your position and maybe he had targeted 50 pips that was a very easy trade so on coming to euro usd this is what i'm saying guys euro usd at 345 immediately at 345 the news were announced the first one hour the the market raised to 85 pips the second hour the market had already gone to 131 the third hour 145 and the market continued moving up to 
uh, around 195 pips that is on euro usd so the news made the market move very very fast and this is something that people anticipate if you anticipated for this news and the structure of course if i put my 200 ema let's see my 200 the price was above 200 ema this is even one hour so you the the technical analysis was showing the market is bullish now the news comes to do what to accomplish what the technical analysis does so there's nothing like rocket science then uh to to trade the news you just go with the direction of the technical analysis it's just that we need to be aware there will be the movement so you don't over risk you don't put uh you don't fail to put in take profit because when news happen they just move quickly and then they come down so let's go to euro uh euro jpy euro jpy of course it was above the price had been above the moving average the 200 moving average so if even if there were no news you would be thinking of buying this market so that is fast that's how you trade the news you know the technical analysis must support you and then now as we are seeing the market moves away from the 200 ema now you can see this is where the news was uh, announced and you can see that pair moved 100 uh, 245 pips euro jpy moved 245 pips now let's go to euro audi euro audi you see again the 200 ema was tested multiple times this is one two three so if you were trading this pair there's no way you would be selling so because you have the moving average it's directing you and uh, the pair went how many pips the pair went 240 pips so imagine you are trading all three pairs and the three pairs they were indicating a buy they had a buy indication when you are using 200 EMA. so what would have happened you would have gained 200 times three you would have gained 600 pips in that market in just less than three four hours so guys that's how we trade news make sure to make forex factory your best friend and always keep uh always watch the market because uh news can either make your account or break your account so let's trade uh well guys until next time it's bye for now